Hello everyone, the wilderness update has been out for quite a while now and I feel like I finally have a good grasp on how to kill Spindle or Venonatus. It's one of those bosses where if you don't know what you're doing, it's really difficult and annoying, but I'm going to show you some tips and tricks that make it brain dead easy. And as always, this is a Mr. Mammal guide, so do not watch this guide if you want to be super efficient and get the most kills per hour. I just want to show you how to effectively kill the boss. So for starters, let's talk about your gear and inventory. So Spindle is weak to Crush. Now, you can range it if you really want to, and I'll show that later in the video regardless, but I wouldn't necessarily recommend it. Uh, even using Crush with like something like the Seracnus Cudgel is going to be better than a Crossbow, to my knowledge. So um, what I would recommend wearing is just some basic low-risk prayer gear. Um, now, if you're on a Slayer task, make sure you're wearing a Slayer Helm. If you're not on a Slayer task, I would recommend the Dwarven Helmet. Um, it's only 60k, and it gives good crush bonus. Um, and then as far as weapon goes, to my knowledge, it's going to go Vigora's Chain Mace, then Inquisitor's Mace, then the Abyssal Bludgeon, then the Zamoraki and Hasta, then the Cudgel, and then the Leaf Bladed Battle Axe, maybe? <laughs> I'm not really sure. Um... But yeah, so just bring some, you know, I would recommend a proselyte top and bottom for prayer bonus. And otherwise, just remember, you are in the wilderness, so, you know, keep your risk as low as you are comfortable, you know. As far as the inventory goes, this is one of those things where you'll have to figure out what is going to work for you as far as what uh, ratio of potions you need. Um, I like to bring a black dehyde switch for PKers along with the rune crossbow because a lot of people don't understand the importance of fighting back against PKers. At the very least, it'll make them turn smite off, you know? Um, otherwise, as far as the potions go, you know, bring an anti-venom for PKers. Uh, and the only other really notable thing I want to talk about is the darts. The darts are technically optional, but if you are meleeing, I would highly recommend bringing darts to kill the spiderlings. But we'll get into that in just a little bit. So next, really quickly, this is essentially all you need to know for Spindle on how to make it easy. Now, of course, I'm going to show you the text first, and then I'm going to show you it in live action so you can actually apply it. Um, but this right here, you can screenshot this or whatever you want. Uh, but Spindle works in a rotation. It will do the exact same attacks in a rotation over and over and over again. Um, so it's going to start the fight. And when it starts, it's going to use either range or melee. If you're standing in melee distance, it's going to melee you. If you're not in melee distance, it's going to range you. So I guess if you're if you're using range or melee, just uh, keep that in mind. So for the purposes of this guy, we'll say melee, right? So for the first attack, uh, Spindle will melee you and it will spawn the spiders, okay? This is what I bring the darts for. Uh, I use the darts to kill the spiderlings quickly. He is then going to do three more attacks with either melee or range. After that, the boss is going to move. Okay, now the movement is the best way to keep track of where it's at. So it's going to move. And then it's going to do four more auto attacks. Either range or melee, if you're in melee distance. It's then going to walk again. Now after this second walk, this is when the next special attack is on the way. So once it walks for the second time, it's no longer going to range. It's either going to use mage or melee now. So if you're in melee distance, pray melee. If you're ranging, pray mage. It's going to use its auto attacks twice. And then on the third one, it's going to shoot the web. So what we're going to do, because we know this attack is the web, what we're going to do is we're just going to run to the edge of the arena. So that the web gets way the hell out of there. You don't have to worry about it. If you let it go in the middle of the arena, it's... <laughs> That's what makes the boss hard. It gets so annoying, it'll lure you through it repeatedly. Uh, it's then going to do a fourth attack with either magic or melee. It's going to walk again. And then it's going to do four auto attacks with either magic or melee. And then it's going to reset. It's going to start over from the top by, you know, either ranging or meleeing. And spawning the spiders. And that's it. So, um, like I said, I'm going to put that picture up if you'd like. Um, you know, if you want to screenshot it. And you feel like it would be helpful to have like a list to look at or whatever. But that that's the best way to think about it. Um, you know, I, I, I like to segment the kill in how many times the boss walks. So it's going to use range and spawn the spiders for the first two set of walks. And then the second two set of walks, it uses magic or melee and it does the web. So it's really, really, a, once you understand how to uh, force 
that web to get launched off to the side, this boss becomes brain dead easy. I know with all the slow motion, it can be a little bit difficult to follow for some people, so I'm just going to go ahead and put a full normal speed kill. I am going to continue to uh, put the little text, you know, kind of by my chat box, so you can follow along in the attack cycle if you'd like. Um, I am going to use range for this kill, just because I showed melee first, so if you do happen to be using range, I'll show range for this kill. Again, it works the exact same way, but anyways, uh, here is the full speed kill. I'm going to put that picture up on screen one more time showing the attack rotation and also I'll put an Imgur link to it in the uh, description of the video. But uh, this is a pretty simple boss. I just know that before I understood how to deal with the web, I had a pretty difficult time with it. So I'm really hoping that uh, this guide was sweet and simple and uh, made you realize how easy Spindle can be. Uh, if you guys did enjoy today's video, feel free to leave a like and I will see you all soon.